Good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, guys, we've made it. Our 10 weeks out video. It's kind of surreal. Um, I don't know if y'all like, if any of y'all really do bodybuilding and stuff like that, but like that 10 week mark and then that like four week mark, at least for me, are massive, massive just physical changes that you can see, but also it just like gets so much more exciting um, because it's kind of like about to go to one digit weeks. I don't know. Um, so at 10 weeks out, um, we're actually one day closer. So technically it's nine weeks and six days, which single digit, which is crazy. Um, this is going to be a what I eat in a day. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to be strictly in the kitchen. I got a lot of recommendations just to make like a quick short video, um, just what I eat in a day. So we're going to do it. My nutrition has been um, pretty similar the last two or three weeks or so. Um, so or maybe like two-ish weeks, yeah. Um, my nutrition has been the same. I had a couple changes made today, but not to my nutrition, just to cardio and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to put any macros, just a little disclaimer, no macros, no calories, um, I'm gonna try to strict, like, stay away from super strict weights. Um, although, like, my, like, the way I'm eating today and stuff like that, it's not like crazy low calories, anything like that. Um, I just don't want anybody, like, comparing how they look to what I'm eating and, like, why they're not looking like I am if they're eating like I'm eating. Um, anyway, so, just staying away from anything like that. But if you're interested in seeing, like, how I structure my food during a day, uh, mainly on a rest day, because today is a rest day. Um, but if you want to see kind of how I structure my food, how I have time to do all of this like meal prepping, I'll explain that later. But um, I had a lot of questions about that. So that's what we're talking about today. What I eat a day, how I meal prep as a college student, questions like that. Um, but I am starting today with a little bit of a body scan. Um, I did a check-in with my coach. Um, I'm not going to do any like physical ch uh, check-ins today because I did just do that on my 12-week out video. Um, but I'm going to go get a body scan this morning. We're going to start the day with a body scan and then we're going to start showing our meals. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you look so funny with a goatee. <laughs> okay. So me and Parsa just given his goatee. Oh my gosh. Um, me and Parsa just got our body scans. I want to give you all a little like update of what our body scan is looking like. Um, we are at 15.8% body fat. Which is crazy. Um, for reference, I stepped on stage a little bit less than like 12% as this like body scan said. So the body scan said I stepped on stage at 11.4%. Um, and right now I'm 15.8, which is really, really good. Like I'm really, I'm really proud of that. Um, our skeletal muscle right now is a tiny, tiny bit up by like point something, but it's 67.9 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. Um, so we're looking good. Weight on this, on that scale was 141.7. I weighed in at home at 140.3. Um, so that was like the weight difference on the body scan, but I'm proud of that. That was good. Um, my coach wants me to be ready for my show, like leanness wise, a, a, a little bit far out. Um, and she wants me to kind of reverse diet into my show, which I'll definitely like talk about as we kind of get into that. Cause really, I don't even know entirely what that's going to entail for me personally. Um, but yeah, looking good. 15.8% body fat. So we're going to do the rest of the video just kind of in the kitchen, um, showing what we're eating. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I want to show y'all how I'm going to make my coffee this morning. Uh, I'm going to make food in a little bit, but I thought I'd just start out with my coffee. So um, I have one of these. Let me show you. I have one of these like older um, style. I have one of these little things that I make espresso out of. Nice and uh, classic. And then we're going to make it with this espresso that I literally just ordered off Amazon. And I put a half of a, well, really like a fourth of a serving of cocoa powder in, organic cocoa powder in with the espresso when I'm making it. Um, so this should be ready soon and I'll show you exactly how I uh, make my coffee. But most likely I'm going to do like an iced Americano kind of deal. Um, and then I'll add some like sugar free zero calorie syrup in there. It is kind of... <laughs> Okay, so we did a half of a serving of unsweetened almond milk with the sugar-free vanilla today. I also usually use the cinnamon roll, but it, this is what we have today. And then um, we just poured the coffee in. Nice little iced latte or Americano. <laughs> okay, I took a bite because I was hungry, but let me show you what I'm eating. <laughs> She's not that pretty, but <laughs> um, I have uh, Brussels sprouts that I burned. We're going to eat them anyways. 
And then this is for egg whites. I also had um, sauteed down some red onions before. So some red onions, four egg whites, and then I put some sriracha on it. Yum. I used to hate sriracha um, because I'm white. I don't know. And I've, it's really been growing on me. I've been putting it. You probably see it on almost every like savory meal today. Um, I feel like it just levels up a lot of things, mainly like egg whites. Um, usually I would do like sugar-free ketchup maybe as well. Um, and since it's a rest day, I'm not like adding any eggs or anything in there. I really just wanted a quick and easy little meal that was like getting in a good amount of protein this morning. Um, most of today you'll see is pretty high volume um, while having like low calories. So at no point in my like starving um, or like extremely hungry. The goal is that like I'm not that like I'm full throughout the day. Um, so I tend to eat like higher volume foods rather than like going to Chipotle, you know. Um, so that's the goal from today. <laughs> Okay, so I've just been doing some work, um, but I wanted to show y'all what my little snack was gonna be today. Um, here we are. So I'm literally just making some, uh, like a little snack before lunch a little bit later, but it's just gonna be some yogurt. I'm out of Oikos yogurt, and normally I just do Oikos yogurt. Um, so today, this is what we're gonna have. We are gonna have this plain Chobani yogurt. I might add a little bit of this vanilla. Um, uh, syrup in there just so it's like actually tastes good and then I'm gonna add some blueberries and then I might also do a little bit of peanut butter I think that's what we're gonna do okay this is what it looks like I literally just have 300 grams of the plain Chobani yogurt added some vanilla in there and then it's 50 grams of blueberries just for a little snack okay I'm gonna eat this really quickly then I'm gonna finish my work and then I'm gonna meal prep um, before my lunch so I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I meal prep in a minute um, but basically, or like at least the reason why I do it, but today's a Sunday, it's a rest day. Um, this is the day that I meal prep most of my food. Um, I don't put it in like Tupperwares separately, my lunch and dinners and stuff like that. Um, but I am going to cook, um, rice for the whole week or well for the next couple of days. My meal prep is usually three or four days at a time. Um, but I'm going to cook a bunch of rice. I'm going to cook all of, um, all of my meat, like the whole pack of it at once. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to explain that a little bit later, but I'm gonna get some meal prepping done because I feel like this is the easiest way meal prepping to be able to as a college student and being super busy and like if you're working full time being able to eat healthy uh, I feel like meal prepping is just like so, makes it so 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 much easier so you don't have to be home cooking all the time um, but yeah we're gonna meal prep and then I'll talk a little bit more about that while I'm doing it <laughs> okay so uh, here is my lunch I'm having today um, I did four ounces of chicken 100 grams of rice and then I did shredded lettuce and light mayo and sriracha when I tell you I eat this <laughs> once or twice a day it's crazy um, I literally meal prep like I was saying earlier all the rice for a couple days all the meat for a couple days and I literally just mix it in um, like some days instead of light mayo and sriracha I will do like barbecue sauce like the sugar-free barbecue sauce things like that um, it's just an easy way to make lunch and dinners and stuff super easily um, and really fast. So yeah, this is what we're having for lunch today. So we're doing some powdered greens. <laughs> um, I'm about to go do some work at Parsa's, but um, yeah, burnt Brussels sprouts are not enough. <laughs> so I mix up some green powder um, and honestly it tastes really good. This one's unflavored though, but yeah, we're going to drink some greens and yeah, this is what's next. Okay guys, so I'm finally getting to meal prepping and I want to show you kind of how I'm doing this um, because really I'm just like cooking my dinner um, but I'm also kind of like meal prepping at the same time and I feel like this is a really efficient way of meal prepping and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. So I cook a lot of rice at once. Um, I do have rice usually like twice a day. I have it in the sm uh, small rice cooker. I'll do like two cups worth or a cup's worth, um, put it in a Tupperware, put it in the fridge and I'll way from this for my lunch and dinner the next three or four days now this is the chicken i'm cooking right now um i did a half of a package which is probably half a pound and i do chicken tenderloins i cut them up um and i'm cooking half of it all at once um i'm cutting my brussels sprouts right now for this meal and i literally toss them in the air fryer max like 20 minutes i'm having avocado and stuff too um but basically what i do is i cook rice and chicken um when i have a little bit of free time and i cook a lot of it um, so like a whole package of ground turkey or like a half a package of chicken tenderloins. Um, so I cook that and then I'll have that with lunch and dinner. Um, and then I'll kind of like change the, pro like the taste of it by like, um, adding different sauces. Like if I were to do, um, salsa with it instead of like sugar-free barbecue sauce, which is what I'm doing with this meal or like light mayo and sriracha, I feel like it changes it up enough where it's like not boring. Like some meal preps will be, 
Um, and I literally just like pick from it and weigh it out for that meal. Um, and then that way it still stays kind of fun. Um, I like my vegetable to be fresh and I just air fry it basically with every meal. Um, but yeah, and so this meal obviously is going to be rice, probably um, 100 grams or 80 grams. And then I'm going to do uh, four ounces of chicken with Brussels sprouts. And then I'm probably going to do a half of an avocado, which is usually like 40, 50 grams. With this is the sugar-free barbecue sauce I get right here. Um, this is the honey one, which is my favorite, but it is zero, uh, it's 10 calories per serving. Um, and yeah, it makes it so much better. Like so, so, so much better. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of questions kind of about like making meal prepping easy. And I do feel like this helps so much with college lifestyle. Um, I have certain days where like I'm less busy, um, than others. So like Sunday, I'm really not busy. And like Wednesdays, I'm really not busy because I'm a rest day. So like rest days, I tend to cook for like a couple days in a row. Um, but yeah, and I'll show you my meal in a second. Okay. And this is how I do my Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I get some spray oil, spray it on there. <laughs> nice and easy. And here we are. Of course, like I said, the sugar-free barbecue sauce. We have avocado, more burnt Brussels sprouts. I'm so bad about watching them. Um, chicken, rice, oh, looks beautiful. Honestly, with prep and cutting in general, I think my biggest tip, lots of vegetables, but also eating high volume, just whole food, chicken, rice, avocado, Brussels sprouts, like, it just makes me so full after. Um, I think it's important to keep it simple. I think people really overcomplicate it. Um, eating like meat and rice, like chicken and rice, like everybody says that, but it's so true. Um, there's ways to make it taste good, like sugar-free barbecue sauce and things like that. Um, but honestly, like keep it simple. It's the easiest, easiest tip I can say. Here's one of our beautiful, uh, probably two late night meals. We have cream of rice, it's just a serving. Um, I did less peanut butter than normal because I literally had to scrape out the container, but this is the reduced fat peanut butter I use. And I did some blueberries as well. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna add some stevia for some zero calorie like sweetener. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I do have a little bit more calories than I thought. So I'm definitely gonna have two little mini snacks left, but let me show you what my first one of the night is like while I'm folding laundry and stuff. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> um i'm doing three caramel rice cakes which is the kroger ones um nothing fancy of course chocolate's my favorite but it's always out of stock and then i'm doing a, a half of a serving of pb fit i mix it like a tablespoon of pb fit with a tablespoon of water and i literally just kind of like spread it on some of the rice cakes um and honestly it's really amazing this is just what it looks like <laughs> yum yeah. What is up guys? Okay, time for our last meal of the day. Let's go. Uh, I'm making a protein ice cream. I honestly love, I make this every single day. Um, it is an amazing like little macro cap. It's a little bit of carbs with the frozen fruit, but also a good bit of protein. I also just really love sitting in bed and eating this before I have to go, have to, go to bed. Um, and so this is what we're gonna use. Okay, a little bit of xanthan gum. It's gonna be a half of a teaspoon. So very, very little, um, but it just helps to make it a lot thicker. You definitely don't need this, um, and I used to make it without this, but um, I feel like it definitely makes it more of an ice cream texture, but pretty good. Um, this is the protein powder I'm using. It is just a peanut butter cookie. I honestly just get whatever is cheapest per serving um, from uh, the supplement store. So, <laughs> and it always has to be peanut butter. So this um, week I got a peanut butter cookie and then frozen fruit. Usually I do just strawberry frozen fruit, but I got a all berry like medley one this time. So let's make this. Okay, first roughly 200 grams of the frozen fruit. Okay, oops, here you go. Okay, and then we're also gonna do that half of a teaspoon of the xanthan gum. Big thing, we are gonna weigh our protein. Um, you'll find that most proteins, the scoop is not the serving size. Um, so we're gonna weigh this. I think the weight for this one is 32.5 grams. Yeah, I weighed it full scoop and it ended up being like 10 grams over. <laughs> um, so yeah, we fixed it. It is 33, it's going between 32 and 33. So there we go. This is where I add the water to literally just where it's covering um, all the fruit. Okay, this is what it looks like. We're gonna put it in a bowl, but she is thick. Like, oh, thick. And look how much it made. It made it literally so much. It's such high volume. 
She's so good. Um, this is we're gonna, where, where we are going to end or what I eat in a day. <laughs> That's such a long tongue tie. Um, so yeah, we're finishing off with this kind of uh, thick frozen protein ice cream. My go-to. Um, you'll realize a lot of my nutrition today, I try to stick with high volume foods um, and things that are gonna make me full. Like at no point today was I like starving or really hungry. Like they get that question all the time. I'm really not starving. Uh, it just takes some extra time to cook all the food. So I definitely recommend finding um, like days you can meal prep and cook more of your food for the week for the days you are busy. Um, but yeah, I eat high protein, pretty high carb. Um, my fat definitely was higher today because it was a rest day. So let me know if you want to see a what I eat in a day on a training day and how I um, schedule like intro workout carbs, pre and post workout carbs. That's a whole different, whole different thing. Um, but for reference, yeah, I put no calories in here. I um, wanted to put some of the weights of the things that like you might want to cook yourself um, like this. Um, but really like, it's a great day. Like I honestly truly enjoy eating all this food um and you know I don't mind doing it at all I actually kind of love it um being like this in tune with what I'm eating um I have been eating uh gluten-free right now which has helped so much with my digestion um not completely lactose free but I try to limit my lactose as well um and it's made a world of a difference um in how I'm everyday feeling um but yeah and for reference, I do eat less calories on rest days than I do training days. So if I wanted to do this video for a training day, I would be eating more um, carbs and a little bit less fat. But for reference, this is kind of what I eat on a rest day. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video um, and loved this uh, little 10 weeks out video. Uh, I'm putting this out at nine weeks and six days um, is like what I'm recording right now. And so we are technically at single digits, uh, which is completely insane because we did start this cut at 20 weeks out and now we're at 10. Um, and honestly, like, I'm just excited. Like, we're going to kill the show. And again, I thank y'all for watching. Love y'all so much. And I really, really, truly uh, appreciate all your support. Um, make sure to like, give us a comment if you have uh, anything in particular you'd like to see. Uh, and until next week, at nine weeks out, see ya.